My name is John Cunningham. I'm the professor and chief of the section of pediatric hematology, oncology, and stem cell transplantation at Comer Children's Hospital. Sickle cell disease is a genetic disease that affects the red blood cell pigment. Uh, it results in uh, a deformed red blood cell that blocks uh, small blood vessels, causing, and when this occurs, it causes death of the tissue beyond the blockage with associated pain, uh, infection, and sometimes even death. Sickle cell disease is treated today in several different ways. Firstly, we have to identify children uh, shortly after they're born uh, to ensure that they get appropriate medical care over subsequent years. This involves working with the state of Illinois to identify children through newborn screening. The child, every child in Illinois is tested for sickle cell disease and those in South Chicago who uh, are diagnosed with that disease are then referred to the pediatric blood program at the University of Chicago and Larabita Children's Hospital for further care. At that time, we confirm the diagnosis and then start to see the child on a regular basis to ensure that the child has, is, has maximally appropriate health care. This involves frequent visits to the hematology uh, clinic. It involves uh, treatment of pain crises when they occur, either providing advice about how to deal with minor crises while the child is at home, or what are the indications to admit the child to hospital for further management. Further management in hospital includes uh, intravenous fluids, pain relief, and sometimes a blood transfusion. If a child develops severe sickle cell disease, which is defined as having frequent crises, particularly of organs such as the uh, lungs or has an acute, uh, has, has a stroke, then children are uh, uh, advised to uh, initiate additional therapy, which can include uh, frequent transfusion, the use of a drug called hydroxyurea, or in some instances, stem cell transplantation. Sickle cell disease, fortunately, can be cured. If the child has a matched brother or sister and has severe sickle cell disease, as defined by having had a stroke, having had what is called an acute chest syndrome, which is a very severe uh, chest uh, disorder which requires intensive care, or has frequent crises, they can be referred to our program by the, uh, by the, sick, by the sickle cell physician. And uh, they will receive a stem cell transplant. We are also initiating stem cell transplants using uh, matched unrelated donors and cord blood donors for this devastating disease. Individuals with sickle cell disease unfortunately do not have the same life expectancy of uh, others within the African American population. The median time or the time where approximately half the population with sickle cell disease uh, uh, succumb to the disease is 48 years, whereas in contrast, um, uh, other African Americans who do not have sickle cell disease or have sickle cell disease trait uh, live into their 70s. To address this issue, um, uh, physicians at the University of Chicago uh, Pediatric Blood Program are developing new therapies for sickle cell disease, including alternative pr of approaches for, uh, of stem cell transplantation, as well as new drugs to uh, prevent the sickling disorder. Genetic counseling is a very important component of, the, uh, of our program. Uh, we uh, work closely with the state of Illinois to identify all children in South Chicago who uh, who, are, um, who have sickle cell disease. This is done through testing of all newborns uh, and those who are identified as having sickle cell disease uh, are referred to our clinics for further care. In addition, we provide counseling to parents of babies with sickle cell trait. Sickle cell trait is, uh, it represents the carrier state of sickle cell disease and if two trait members have a child, that child has a one in four chance of developing sickle cell disease. We explain that uh, risk to, to those individuals, and indeed, we are glad to provide further counseling to adults with sickle cell trait 
to advise them about their risk of having a sickle cell uh, child. Physicians at the University of Chicago uh, Pediatric Blood Program are developing new therapies for sickle cell disease, including alternative of approaches for of stem cell transplantation, as well as new drugs to uh, prevent the sickling disorder. These research efforts are focused not only on the diagnosis of the disease, but also in developing new treatments to ameliorate many of the diseases which are devastating to the child or adult with those diseases.